my father and I trade bedwetting stories. Once, <laughs> I made a mess of myself. Turned the white Power Ranger yellow. <laughs> Fifth pair of underwear ruined. Stood in front of the fan for like half the day to dry. Thought about telling my father the truth. Instead, thought about sticking my fingers through the metal cracks. Either way, he would see red. Blood from his belt below the pantry door. Why wouldn't he be angry? Working long nights at the beer factory to come home and see just another accident. A wasted piece of fabric, untimely rip, untapped potential, spoiling soil. I can see the piece of wall my father elbowed. I can see the carpet where my knees left table marks. Never cry with company over. So many body fluid, urine or tears. Either way, just another accident. Once, my father grew up in Saigon. There was no middle class, just rich or bones along the road, waiting to be buried in broth to feed their young to a soldier. They would cause so much racket, was hard enough to sleep. Three of his seven siblings, my father, his mother, and one bed. Again, my father woke up humid, found himself crying in his own urine. His mother awoke, and without hesitation, without waking his brothers, picked up my father, like the spots left on the boat, or what family the bay swept. Either way, they switched spots. My father watched his mother fall asleep without complaining, her heavy forearm a sponge, her hygiene a small sacrifice, puddle of guilt, that's what love is, wet and unclear, orange agent stains, getting used to the odor, and perfect smeared horizon. My father cried himself to sleep that night. The sheets became the Westlake. My father never wet the bed again.